Hello my friends, look what I have in here, a minion! Well, here he is, hello! So what I did, I took this with me camping this weekend. Right now it's Sunday, we already left camping and we are home. So yesterday, I basically, just yesterday, yes, did this. I outline the eyes portion. This is going to be eye start. If we look at this picture, okay. So this line, it's underneath line of the yellow border. And I already did black patches on each side, which is glasses, whatever that is. The mouse already done, and I have big patch of yellow to do. So that's what I was doing. In the morning, yesterday, on Saturday in the morning, I did outline in here. And uh, afternoon, a little bit in the evening, actually already were dark outside, so I sit at the table, the camper, and did this portion in here and kind of outline upwards. And that's it. This is all going to be yellow. So I thought if you would love to do this with me, let's work together. The only thing what I want you to do is ignore my nail. I broke my nail at the camper. <laughs> it came out perfectly nice whereas my extension was starting. So yes, I have a chopped nail. So after this video, I have to redo my nails because yuck. Okay, so we will try to concentrate your view on a part that we will do with this beautiful yellow threads and that's it that's what I put in here maybe we can get a little bit even more close now I have like a nice good light from the window so I decided to take advantage of of the nice light it's supposed to be thunderstorm actually Catherine says our door um, security says that it's going to be thunder, a lightning maybe later, whatever that is. So here is what happened, my dear friends. I did uh, recorded some video at the camper. We went raspberry picking and blueberry picking with family and Catherine joined us this week at the camper ground. And that was her first time picking raspberry and blueberry. She never saw how they grow, basically. And she has fun. She said that she liked to pick blueberry the most because it was so easy. So I shoot few of the videos. I posted some pictures on my Instagram or Facebook probably. Well, usually Instagram share my pictures into the Facebook to my profile. Uh, but also I recorded a little bit video took you to this awesome yummy place Because maybe some of you did not see how blueberry grow like for example, I shoot short video By speaking Ukrainian and I sent to my sister to Ukraine because she wanted to buy some bushes of blueberry to grow on her yard but she never saw them how they how they grow, how they produce berries. So I sent her a short video. I say, hey sister, here you go. You wanted to see how blueberry grow? <laughs> she replied to me. She said, I'm in shock. I thought they grow kind of like a gooseberry or those, um, how you call them? Not gooseberry. Gooseberry is a big green one. The one that uh, grow like uh, black and red. There's a different name for them. Um, so she didn't realize how much berry can grow on one bush and how big those bushes grow so she's like oh my god what I'm going to do with I bought eight of them sitting on a flower pot because obviously still not big she said where are I gonna place them when they're gonna grow big I will have to take some to my mom home up there plant because my mom has a big yard, lots of room up there. So yeah, she was really surprised to see that was kind of 
good educational video for her so I thought I will shoot some also for you maybe some of you never have blueberry in your country to grow this way because all my life we go and it's actually season right now uh, blueberry wild in the woods that grow uh, low to the it's almost like a grassy tiny bushes uh, that you have to bend over and pick them up one by one so on the end of the day you might well collect like a bucket of them and this way of course you know 10 minutes your bucket is full because they are big and grow like a grape with nice and then we have a of course a raspberry after the pick raspberries so we ate lots of fruits so yes i will add those videos to the end of this video just for fun a little bit of crafty and at the same time you know if some of you want to continue watch more of the camp and fun then i created a little bit video i was hoping to create this minion at the camper to show you how I do and I almost wanted to do but we're supposed to stay longer a little bit at the camping today but my husband says it's going to be rain anyway and him and Catherine right now went to WrestleMania watch wrestling and I'm trying to catch up with the news from Ukraine right now and my dogs are pooped tired so tired that they just sleep and now since we came home they're not moving much too much fresh air for them i guess let me get you even a little bit more close so you can see more fun i just have to remember to be in the point view I have to pick up on my camera time from time so guess what we bought new trailer Yoohoo! The trailer that we have right now in it's 2014, so it's an old one, and we using this year it's our third year. So we still have um, almost one year or so. Well, we still paying like we bought it and then kind of like from the bank, you know, uh, borrow money. So we're still paying for the trailer. But now we purchased 2020 trailer, brand new. It's 2020, but it looks like it's never was used before because everything looks absolutely brand new, not even touched. I don't know. So it's awesome. Doesn't have a bunk beds be again. Like doesn't have a bunk beds. Instead of that, a two nice chair on the back of the trailer and we have a little bit bigger bedroom that we can actually walk around the bed not just uh, um, like we have a sliding doors right now in my trailer from both sides and the mat mattress a little bit longer because we bought it uh, memory foam mattress just like a regular mattress for home and it's a little bit too big for the trailer and the doors would be keep rubbing off and so now we will have only one door into the bedroom but not sliding but just like a regular door so that way it's better you can close shut and dog will not wander around will not be allowed up there um now what else up there so uh we wait and uh, i can't believe we are going to move our trailer for the third time this summer so we just wait until the trailer park where, where we purchased this trailer will be delivered because we pay for delivery it was like a hundred something dollars i think was to deliver trailer to our park so they will bring it and the other one will take it with them so we can like we trade in this trailer again because it's from same place where we bought the first one and then we're going to have a uh, payments to pay off so that's it I think we did six or seven years to pay off 
and if you want to pay off uh, sooner let's just say we have all of a sudden extra money we want to pay off quicker so the interest will be you know not much pay we can do that still so that's fine for that so yes I will give you a tour soon for a new trailer it was kind of like a th three trailers that we liked one of them was 2022 brand new for the same price as we got n now like the new one that we got so we have kind of like thinking which one we want better but we decided just to go with the place that we purchased before with same salesman he is really nice salesman because he was consistent he emailed to us when he had first of his, uh, he emailed to us to see him toy hauler which is it's like a the big door open up on the back of the trailer and if you have a motorcycle or some you know little toys of yours you can uh, move them on the back of the trailer it's like an extra big room that table and bed sliding off the ceiling we kind of almost got that one <laughs> but I don't know there's something we decided to not to have this time I said to my husband oh my god this is going to be my recording studio so we laugh a little bit but end up to go with the other one so I'm excited I'm excited but not excited to move everything again well last time we didn't move but just to move spots everything was inside of the trailer now I have to completely empty everything maybe a week or two and of course um, we brought some other trailer that I mentioned you in my other video that's like for the storage thing I shoot a little bit video of that so we have to revamp that one fix a little bit so it was it was fun it was very hot camping week actually okay I have to say a few words about how I work see I'm um, right handed to work with and I find that for me from my right to the left more comfortable to do instead of from a left to the right and here is why uh, I will explain so if I get from this side so basically my left hand pulling thread kind of to the left and it's kind of easy for me to grab in here because nothing in here on my way and to pull so if I would do from this side let's see what I have in here if I do from this side the threads already here and sometimes they catching up in this uh, hook and then if I want to pull it sometimes you know I'm kind of grabbing this other threads as well so it's like a more busy area in here already so it's easy to pull this way you know this way where is lots available spots so that's why I do this way probably would be same comfy if I would do from down to the top like vertical would be okay as well hopefully I'm not gonna get bored to work just with yellow color but you know what it's a, such a happy color and plus the process itself is fun so I don't think there's any difference if I would work with different color or not it's still fun and now I'm kind of like I can't wait okay hold on I'm gonna lift you I'm going to put this under the tripod there we're kind of going to be in the camera view maybe like tight on our corners but at least in here um, what I was saying what I was saying 
Oh, I keep thinking about that one the way I bought it from Valley Village, the big one. It's going to be challenging. All those uh, little symbols, colors up there. But I'm already thinking that I would love to start on that big one after I finish my minion. I took with me to camping and to cross stitch. I kind of decide not to leave my craft up there. I don't know. I don't want anything happen with them. So I keep bringing back and forth pillows and flowers. And the new one pillow that I did not started yet but I showed you in my video how I plan to do that so maybe I will try tonight stitch a little bit and see if it's comfortable or not but I think the most important thing right now for me is to fix my nails because it's going to be embarrassing to if I have to do video review or some other craft it's not nice <laughs> it's not nice I have to fix it so because of one nail, I could just do one nail and just repaint it, but since I have to fix it, I might as well just change color. What happened? I make them too thin and I shouldn't. I wanted my nails to be as natural as possible to look like I don't have any extension. They are very, very thin, not thick layer of the gel so that that's why it's break I have to definitely make it a little bit thicker and I would love to try different nail polishes because they are nice I want those green ones to use because I never have them on my hands before and I would love to try it People right now working in the back yard fixing my staircase remember I show you I have constructions going on a little bit in my house so they finally came today right after we come back from camping actually and they I are f fixing the cement staircase so when it's painted it wouldn't be chipping away because I would love to fix the staircase finally put some nice flowers up there to bloom on the staircase and actually use that doorway for the basement room because right now it's locked if we don't use that door because it's a very messy on the outside So they told me they will be fixing some today. They're just going to be left probably paint after cement dry. I wanted to record more videos from the camping side, but my lovely people there was a birthday party up there, a 60th birthday party. And when they party, they party, let me tell you. They don't just celebrate birthday and that's it. No, it's a whole weekend. <laughs> and it's across the street from us. So it was loud, very loud. I wouldn't be have a chance to record any video without any uh, laughs, okay. But sometimes, you know, boys filter the language with every second word would be swears because they just don't know how to speak nice and I know wanted to to have that in my video don't forget the giveaways still work um, as I record this video it's Sunday but on Wednesday I supposed to pick the winner for the cross stitch and on Thursday or Friday what was uh, my um, diamond painting video I have to check now I forgot if that was a Thursday or Friday I think Friday I posted 
20k thank you video so if you missed the video somehow and please subscribe oh my goodness welcome welcome my new subscriber from Toronto I didn't reply yet because I, I wouldn't use um, internet much when I because it killed my data time but I will be later to obviously reply to some at least comments so yes I found one more Canadian who watch in Toronto I actually will go to Toronto to CNE this year uh, usually what is it end of the August beginning of the September we go to CNE Toronto it's an exhibition every year but due to the COVID of course it was closed was shut down so nobody could go there and this year we are really looking forward to go again so if you girls up there somewhere in Toronto we can meet up at CNE maybe for a few minutes to chit chat because our kids like to have a fun go on the rides and I like the shopping area up there check it out what's up there have some food fun food and just a nice day to spend with family nice concerts from a different country concert big big building up there the sales of the product from different country stations up there with different product oh I love it I love it Let's see how it's getting fluffy we are creating right now minions cheeks somewhere like that his cheeks because it's a corner of his mouth so I will create crafty video short one because I will add some more for you from the campground it's not very long video up there but still just to take you with me and next time we will work on a minion maybe we will we'll work on his eyes so it's a little bit different colors for you to watch not just a yellow I finish all those yellow threads that I had available uh, am I just gonna open one more we still have like one minute left before my camera shut down so let me just pull out one more one more Okay, who, for those who wants to learn how to do, you do a fold and a half. Here's your hoop, and I can bring you even more close. I just show you in here. Here's your hook. You push, kind of open, and then with the threads together, I pull it till this latch latch go close. Pull it through the hole now again open all the way see turn it it's closed already and pull it and just pull it tight that's it okay actually it's 23 minutes camera will stop any moment so thank you for staying with me and i will see you tomorrow with my next video Rustage Wednesday will be 
and I will be picking winner. I don't know if I will pick and announce tomorrow or I will just pick and announce different day. I kind of forgot what I should do. I have to watch my video what I promised to do because I don't know. I can't pick right now because it's only Sunday. So I have to wait kind of one week till Wednesday. Because that way will be cheating if I do right now. Alright my friends, see you tomorrow. Catherine say hello, look who we have here. Okay, here is the shed or trailer that I told you we are going to purchase and you remember that my husband says he will make this very very pretty so we already installed a new door in here it was a pre-cut wood already this one see this door we take it off this door it was another door that is uh, this one was like rotten on the bottom so the wood that was well that's our wood up there for now but look at this one has a window in here nice window uh, we are put this door for right now we just have to fill in this thing on the top of there there's another new window in here and this cage that's where our wood is going to be stay nice and dry so that's like a chicken scoop that's it right daisy or it's going to be your gel when you're naughty <laughs> so let's go look in the inside for now gonna have before and after you know okay daisy stay away so this is how it looks like on the inside it's pretty cool I have a light up there uh, kind of bench um, we are going to put our fridge. It's going to be stay inside instead of outside. Inside yeah. So I'm just going to sweep the floor right now here. Yeah. Um, look at that. Even a curtain on the window. Electricity. So yeah, we're going to make it nice in here. What you gonna do then over this tire that is a hole? You gonna box it? I'm gonna box it. Yeah. So it doesn't have nothing. It's gonna be nice and dry on the inside. So that's what kind of like we are working here. Hi guys, that's your new home maybe? <laughs> Catherine, that's your new apartment? <laughs> Catherine's first house. Here she is, finally. She decided to come camp with us. Okay. Mm. Hi Daisy Duke. Catherine, where are we? Blueberry picking. <gasps> we're picking blueberry and then we're going to take a raspberry picking as well today. So let's go all the way. Oh. We have to start with a pike on up there. And we're going to have a bigger bucket for the blueberry and smaller one for the raspberry. Look at a nice uh, net so the birds won't eat berry. This one already picked, so looks lots of green. Yeah, I'll keep going. Up there should be more. And let's see. This one. Look at this one. It's still okay. Come here. Come here. Let's, let's go a little bit further. See. Okay. I have to try a first one. Mm. No, just on the side. Oh, they're sweet. Okay, give me one bucket. Which one you want me? I'm just putting them in. Okay, you use the little one, and we're gonna fill up this one. This 
beauty. Look at this beauty. Catherine, how about we maybe go from the other side and move this way or no? I want to go look to the end and see if up there more because lots of greens in here. <laughs> yeah. I want to go look for the. I want to look further, see if it's more up there. Oh, look at this. Look at this one. They are so big. Mm. They grow like a grape. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they ditch us. She's laying on the grass up there, chilling. <laughs> Look at this gorgeousness. And it's a lots in here. Lots, lots, lots. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna pick it up and then I will take you to raspberries. Catherine having fun? We got the bucket. Captain, have fun. Yeah. So what's so far your favorite? Blueberry. Blueberry picking. Oh. So look pretty look at that gorgeousness. Mm, yummy, yummy. Now we are going to pick some raspberry. Now we are going to pick some raspberry. Let's see. Mm. Catherine, Catherine, when you go down, do you see all the red ones? <laughs> oh, look how pretty in here, hanging in the bottom. I know, they're like smooth. Oh, there are a lot of red ones. Okay. This one has to go into my mouth right now. I just try not to squish it. Okay, you want to take a bucket? No, I'm just. I don't want to. No. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, you want to take a picture? Oh, no. Right. Oh, right. Oh, wait. That's not good. Oh, there's some good ones right here. Let's go further, maybe. Yeah, I think you should carry the bucket. Look at the last row, and because more sun kissing this berries. Look at this. How beautiful. Oh la la. Oh la la. 
when you get down, then you see lots of them. Catherine fighting the bugs, I guess. Look at that one. Oh, look at that. Don't give me my cell phone and snap a few pictures. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Okay, we already have a, like for the blueberry bigger bucket, this one's smaller. So we're gonna fill up. Daisy, want a blueberry? Say it pretty. Be nice, don't eat my fingers. Yes, I you didn't even chew. <laughs> you want some more? Oh, we have lots of more. No raspberry, have a little tiny pit, so I don't know. Here is the blueberry. Sit. Sit. Oh, that was delish. Hello, little girl. Hi. What are you doing? Reading. <laughs> She's sipping the tea, reading the book from cell phone. And we have a fire. <laughs> It's a birthday party, like right in front of there, but hopefully we're not gonna hear any some funky screaming in here. Lots of laughs and giggles. What I do have in here is, Catherine, turn a flashlight. Flashlight, flashlight, we need a flashlight. Oh, there, here. Here's what we're gonna have. Mystical fire. So if you have this in your store, something like that, there's also Get another it. one. No, this is last one for today. Mm. Oh, what? I have one in the drawer. That's that's from the drawer. That's the last no, one. No, I have another one. Okay, maybe. So we're gonna throw this in the fire. You see fire now, and you will see fire shortly. So let's just keep watching. And we are going to see magic up front our eyes. Oh, can you see That's magic? Can you see magic now? Look at this fire. It's turning green and blue. I have to maybe go around because wind away. Yeah, I turn off music from my trailer. Hopefully we're not catching the music from far away because it's gonna make it copyright. I don't know if it's very visible on the camera. The fire, maybe if you can zoom in. Oh, that's pretty. Look how color of the fire changes. So it's a Saturday night now. Tomorrow we are going home, but we're going to stay probably a little bit longer than usually. Usually afternoon we're already home. Tomorrow we will try to stay a little bit longer, have some fun. Oh, I love that. It's getting more darker. Okay, I'm gonna uh, turn off my camera now for a few minutes till the fire get a little bit more juicier in color and show you more. Okay, now we can see a little bit uh, purple, bluish green color. I love this magic fire thing. Of course, you have to do this after you already have a s'mores or marshmallow, not before, because after all, this is not going to be healthy for your food. We don't have today any marshmallows. Everybody's so full that we cannot handle anymore. We ate too many raspberries and blueberries from the patch. So, oh, look at this color, Catherine. Now it's getting intense white from far maybe but the way zoom your phone camera oh my god that is so pretty that is so pretty 